Hey guys, Adam Blue from Tech Critic, where we mesh technology and digital marketing. Welcome to Week in Tech, the Android edition. Android, uh, Adam, today is Apple. Next week we're talking about Android. Oh, right. Apple. Apple edition. Clearly, we, you know, Tech Critic, Apple Watch, you know, everything. Apple yeah. here. So this past week, Apple had their annual conference where they surprisingly didn't announce a new iPhone. Um, no, Adam, again. They did announce a new iPhone, it's just not much different than the last one. It still looks the same, so you will get confused. Yeah, right? I guess, yeah, how else are they going to fund their moon base? Alright, so Apple has announced new watches, really not much different, except that they do have a rose gold color. And they also announced a $2,000 designer strap for it. So, for all our designer fans out there, let's go ahead and buy it, pre-order. I think it's already sold out for three months, but put your order in. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, as far as the Apple Watch, you know, we have the green one for Tech Critic, obviously. Uh, up next was the new iPad Pro. It is a 12 inch iPad. It's apparently the next best thing. Um, they have a A9X processor on it, which, you know, is leaps ahead from the last one. But other than that, it's not much different. 12 inches. It also has a keyboard now, Apple announced. It is the best keyboard ever. Although I think, what was it, Logitech? Did they make one? Right, um, there were some third-party keyboards out which, there, but you know, people want the official Apple-branded accessories. And actually, think uh, speaking of accessories, they've announced the Apple Pencil, which is a stylus. And I'm actually glad they did. It's been expensive using Sharpies. Up next was the new iPhone. Um, you know, I have the iPhone 6 Plus. I looked at the new one, it looks the same. Um, some of the features on the new iPhone were, uh, what was it? Uh, the, the 3D touch. So there's force touch on the, uh, the Apple Watches, and they wanted to bring that technology to the iPhone. This actually allows contextual commands. If you were to hold down uh, your finger on an, an app icon, let's say it will bring up a menu to allow you to jump into actions quickly instead of loading the whole app. I do think that's going to get a little confusing for some people out there because uh, most people don't touch the same way as everyone else does. So for some of the older generation, pressing something, you know, could really be disastrous for them. Other than that, a great camera. Uh, they also have live pictures now on the iPhone. So basically, what it does is you take a picture, and the picture will actually have you know a few seconds before and a few seconds afterwards. So you can actually click it and relive that moment, as Apple would put it. This is just something amazing that they came out. Um, you know, I'm actually really looking forward to this because I really want to go back and see what I was doing when I took that picture, what was going on in that frame. So uh, that, that's a great feature. Now the battery life on the new iPhone has apparently decreased, or rather, rather the battery size. Um, the word is it stays the same because of optimization, but we'll just have to see when they come out. We don't have our hands on the new watch or the iPhone, but we will be getting some in for a review in two weeks, uh, obviously the day they launch, so we'll be the first one to tell you guys how that works out. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and you know what? Why don't you leave a comment or tweet us and tell us what you think about the Apple conference or what you liked from it. Because we really like to hear what you guys think about it. You know, we're pro-Apple fans over here, not only because awesome, but it's reliable and all that good stuff. All right, guys, be sure to visit us at tech-critic.com. We can help you with all your digital marketing needs and keep you up to date with all the latest tech news. Also, sign up for our newsletter on our website. Um, with our newsletter, you can stay up to date with what's going on with the marketing world. Next week, we'll be talking about Project Fi, uh, completely different than Apple. Obviously, it's the cell phone service by Google. Recently, had a chance to try it out when I was traveling overseas. Uh, it's great. So tune in next week to hear about Project Phi and Nexus 6. All right, see you guys. Have a good day.